Anil Tyagi of Gurugram bought his house about a year ago on a loan of 50 lakh rupees. The tenure of his loan was 20 years, the EMI was 38,705 rupees and the rate of interest was 7% per annum. Now the interest rate on this loan has increased to 9.4%. In turn, the EMI has increased to 46,281 rupees. Based on this revised interest rate, Sunil will have to pay about 18 lakh rupees more in the same period of 20 years. If you have also taken a loan, then you must go to the bank and find out how much interest is the bank charging from you. To contain inflation, the RBI has increased the repo rate by 1.9% in four installments in last five months. Meanwhile, the country's largest realty lender, the HDFC, has increased interest rates on home loans seven times. More or less the same is the case with other banks and NBFCs too. Generally, banks increase the tenure of EMI when the home loan rates rise. If the loan tenure goes beyond the retirement age of the borrower, then in that case, the bank increases the amount of EMI. In the era of high inflation, a large number of people are not in a position to bear this burden. The big question arises is that how should people deal with this situation? Tax and investment expert Balwan Jan says that the most effective way to reduce debt burden is to partially prepay the loan. If you have money deposited in mutual funds, FDs or RDs, then use that money to pay your home loan. If you are young and employed, then there is no harm in increasing the tenure of your home loan. In this situation, there is no sense in prepaying the loan. In fact, you can save a lot of income tax in the long term. If there is some money left after paying the EMI, then you should invest in equity-linked mutual funds through SIP. This will help you in building a corpus in the long term. Jan says that usually auto and consumer loans have fixed rates. Such type of loans run for a period of two to seven years. Penalty is levied on premature payment. If you have money, then such a loan should be paid back before time. But you should ascertain whether the bank is charging a penalty or not. Only then you should make your final decision. Currently, the interest rates on small saving deposits are at 7%. Returns are even lower on FDs and RDs. If you are investing in these schemes, then you can stop such investments. Lighten your loan burden with the money you raise from here. So the question is, which loan should be paid first? Tax and investment expert Balwan Jan says that personal loan will be the most expensive. If you have money, then first of all, pay off this loan. Then try to repay the auto loan. Prepaying a home loan is not a good option for everyone.